this video, I will show you how to make this exact animation in Blender. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so start off by downloading the free counter add-on, which you can find in the description. And then once the zip file is downloaded, you can go into Edit, Preferences, and then under Add-ons, you can click Install, and then go to the Downloads, Select the .zip file, and then you can search for it. So Leo Moon, and enable it. And then next, we're going to set up the loading bar animation. So press Tab for Edit Mode, Phase Select, and then delete this face and delete the verses. Then press Tab to go back to Object Mode. And then we're going to add two shape keys one, which is the basis, and then the key, which we can animate. Then press tab for edit mode, A to select everything, and then E to extrude. And then you can press tab to go back to object mode, and then by increasing the value, we get the animation. So uh, next, we can add the counter text. So uh, press shift A and add some text. And then press R, X, the 90 and then R set the 90. And then we can press numpad 3 for side view. And press G to grab. And then select the uh, cube. And then I'm going to set it around the middle. So press S to scale. And then G to grab. We can adjust this later as well. And then under the text settings, we can set up the counter. So enable the text counter and then enable decimals. And then we can add a percentage sign as the suffix. Okay. And then next we can uh, extrude the text so that it becomes three dimensional. So uh, let's go to geometry and then increase the extrude value. So uh, set it around here. And then next, we can add a uh, font as well. And then in order to see what the font is going to look like, we can enable the uh, thumbnails and then just select whatever uh, font you want. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the uh, Eras Light font. And then next, we can duplicate the text. So press Shift D, then Set to move it on the Z axis. And then we can disable the counter because this one is going to be for the loading texts. And then press G to grab. Then press Shift A and add a plane. Then press S to scale and then press G to grab. Okay, so something like this, and then G and then set to grab it on the Z axis. And then you can press S to scale. And then next we're going to animate the loading bar. So uh, let's set the value to zero and then press I to keyframe the value. And then I'm going to go to the last frame, set the value to one and then I to keyframe. And then we can do the same for the uh, number. So let's set the counter to zero, press I to keyframe, go to the last frame, and then set it to 100. And then press I to keyframe. Okay, and then I'm going to move the number slightly on the Y axis, so G and Y to grab it on the Y axis. I think that looks better. And then next, I'm going to set up a background image to improve the lighting. So environment texture, and then you can download a free HDRI in the link in the description. And then let's set up the render settings. I'm going to use cycles. And then if you have a GPU, make sure to use it. If not, just keep using the CPU. And then let's make the background transparent so that we get the lighting of the HDRI without having to see the HDRI in the background. And then press X to uh, delete the default lighting, then Shift A and add a sun. And then 
press G to grab and then R twice to rotate the sun freely. And let's go into the light settings and I'm going to increase the strength of the sun. So something like this. And then we can select the floor. Go into the materials, add a new material. I'm going to use a glossy shader to simplify it. Something like this. And then we can add a color to the text and loading bar as well. I'm just going to add a simple glossy shader. And then once you're done setting up the materials and the colors, we can set up the camera. So press Control Alt Numpad Zero for camera to view. And then press N, go into view, and then lock the camera to view so that the camera follows your point of view. I'm going to set the camera around here. And then we can also animate the camera. So let's select the camera, go into item, and then press I and I to keyframe the location and the rotation. And then we can go to the last frame. Let's move it slightly. So something like this. And then press I and I again to keyframe. Okay. So there we have the animation. And then next, we can go into the output settings. And I'm going to make this animation to 4K because that's what my recording is. And then you need to select an output folder for where all of the PNGs are going to end up. I'll create a new one, select it, and then give the animation a name. And then I'm also going to save the file in case something crashes. And then you can also select the camera and increase the range of the camera by increasing the end value for the clip. Now let's go to solid view before we start the rendering. And then go to render and then render animation. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe for more Blender content.